Orr. Uh, I'm uh, presenting Turtle Stitch in the following uh, presentation. Actually, we record this a little bit later because the first part of the presentation got lost in the video. So I do this intro after the session we did already some hours uh, earlier. Uh, I explain you about uh, Turtle Stitch. Uh, I mentioned already the URL. I say it again, it's www turtlestitch.org, T-U-R-T-L-E-S-T-I-T-C-H.org. Uh, you find uh, the free software that uh, we're doing there. It's um, a block-based environment. It's uh, scratch-like, but actually it's based on Snap. It's a real great basis for us uh, to put our, uh, our software on top of. Uh, Turtlestick is a software which allows you to code for embroidery. In the end, you can embroider things like this with an embroidery machine or like this one. It's a more uh, advanced code, so it's uh, a 3D code that is uh, done with uh, trigonometry. It's done by Simon Mong. He's a really great uh, supporter of our community. and Turtle Stitch actually is uh, run or is uh, being developed by, we're a team of three persons uh, based in Vienna. It's mainly Michael Aschauer, who is uh, the lead uh, programmer of Turtle Stitch. It's uh, Tina Hochkogler, who is doing uh, the graphics uh, design. And actually that's finally also me who uh, initiated it. And I'm taking care about how it is developing and uh, trying to get uh, financing also for for the others as good as I can. Unfortunately, we don't have a university as a basis, so it's sometimes a little bit hard. In summer, we did a crowdfunding campaign, which helped us a little bit. And we are currently working on our new release, the We See Needle release, which, uh, where we are currently in a really intense uh, phase. In the patient, you see also, um, uh, it, mentions the man the one that is current stable running the other one which is already available on the website you can open it generally turtle stitch started about already about 10 years ago uh, out of artistic approach we were curious about how this uh, new uh, SU embroidery the machine were organized, how they were already on the market as uh, uh, like um, digital uh, sewing machines. And we started uh, to have a look about the file formats and interested in, in, a, in, in the way they were working. And so we did a research in about the different file formats. In the we counted 40 different file formats. And we found slowly our way to come along with these file formats to write them or machines uh, to also start already with uh, generative design bang was on the command line and uh, we found out of course uh, that we could do it in the server side too and this was such a great uh, experience and uh, moment i remember this very uh, exactly when we found out about the, the pity that we can do it on the server and this was the moment where uh, we, knew we can open also up uh, to others to explore this way of coding and creating and producing and uh, in with uh, generative designs and I worked in the educational all earlier I always worked with free software and open source concepts I knew uh, the develop scratch is a great tool that was available and we and we started to think about uh, to combine these uh, things together. So the scratch uh, interface, a, a scratch style interface on the end in, and uh, the implementation, uh, embroidering uh, uh, implemented and combined. Finally, we didn't use scratch, we used snap, but as scratch and snap are a great um, combination and a great kind of uh, software, uh, how do you say in English, uh, software family, I call it, their sisters uh, kind of um, snap, and we are uh, 
very happy to be in this community of scratchers and snappers around the world. And um, so we, I, I show you the interest of the turtle stitch software and uh, then uh, it will slowly uh, change and uh, have fun. Uh, it will there will be a follow up of this presentation. I then I do that. So that's the Turtle Stitch website. It's the part of the collaborative uh, platform. There are a lot of different projects already listed on this site. Uh, on the top, you have the categories, and uh, you can make your choice uh, in. Uh, about what patterns you're interested in. If you start that one, for example, the sun variation, you get uh, a first uh, display of the project. There is a screenshot and you can open it by clicking the open project. You see on the right side, you can own the new developing version with a needle. I made it in the current version. That's uh, how the software is organized it has uh, three parts on the left side i zoom into the blocks a little bit they're very small okay on the left side you have the commands that's the command library there are different categories we don't have all the categories uh, that are available in SNAP. For example, we have put out the sound uh, category. As for embroidery, it is not really relevant to use uh, sound effects. When you uh, want to code something, you put it right in the middle, like it is done for, for this example, uh, piece of code here. You combine all the different ways uh, to do it. And you can execute it by, uh, I can't see it on the screen because there is uh, the, the video here. But you can execute it also just here. You can click the blocks directly. And on the right side, the small turtle starts to move. Uh, it is different than Scratch or snap it's not a static stage here it is a dynamic one as it is important that you can uh, reorganize and move around the area here in order to the, the, the pattern it's important because uh, sometimes and turtle moves uh, far off the, uh, off the stage, you couldn't find the turtle anymore. You can speed up the code by putting the turbo mode uh, uh, check down below. And uh, now the pattern is, uh, has finished in, uh, in the generation and it is uh, drawn on the right side of the, you can zoom in and zoom out. And in the next version, we have some more features here. If you have a blank, if you have a project, you place it with the one, then you just move in the first block and you can execute it, clicking it. You can add a turn and then you have a movement and a turn. It's the way it starts drawing pattern of course as you probably know i guess most of you know it you can use a c block here a repeat block you can take the two blocks and put it in the middle and there then you can uh, automatically let the turtle move one of the most important the reset block sets the turtle back to the zero zero point and uh, clears the screen where you can try to be our important turtle stitch. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, code and it is drawn right in stage area. You can uh, write, save it as an embroidery file format. 
the, we support two different file formats, the Melco EXP file format and the Tachima DSD. You find them directly below the stage. And uh, when you click on it, it uh, shows the display and it saves it directly in the download folder of your of your web browser you can then take the file directly out of the copy it out of the download and feed embroidery machine with the dot on the usb stick so you just reconnect from the computer stick directly uh, to the embroidery machine cheap and also professional embroidery machines uh, have the way of uh, use this way of uh, transferring files. Uh, of course, uh, industrial file machines they are all, all, all also connected uh, directly uh, with the, uh, the USB uh, stick support. We have two different file formats that are currently supported in our software. As I mentioned already earlier, there are many more files, but these are industrial file formats. A lot of machines can read those file formats and they can't understand these file formats. It's not hard to find embroidery software uh, which can uh, convert into these file formats. We also have an export as SVG. I didn't say this earlier. Uh, so in vector graphics, you can save uh, the file also as an SVG file, also directly in the download folder again. And of course, you can think about feeding the SVG to uh, a laser cutter or to an engraver or cardboard uh, cutter. So these are all some some of our users uh, are doing. Actually, I don't have a laser cutter around. I tried it somewhere else and uh, it works. But um, our users uh, tell us that they have good experiences. But probably we will also make a section in the turtle stitch on the turtle stitch platform, which makes it more visible which pattern are uh, useful for uh, laser cutters or engravers or whatever. So this is another way to use Turtle Stitch. There are still a lot of things uh, we want to do, uh, but uh, and we're on a good way. But we're in in the middle of uh, of it. But goes uh, uh, it it helps you to 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 dig into the mathematics or into the coding, uh, but the motivation comes from the design, from the from the from the will to make some really nice or very special or some, something uh, that you can feel in a special way there are different kind of uh, reasons why you why you want why what that makes you digging into into the code in, and into the mathematics so it's a little bit uh, a different kind of um, I think it's good to say approach yes 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 so uh, Eloisa here you plug it in you load it into the machine and uh, then you put in the embroidery frame in the in the machine mount it like this and then you start embroidering here so that's uh, you load it into the machine and you do the embroidery there is just uh, one uh, thread here on the top and uh, you thread it like a, a regular uh, sewing machine and then uh, you can start the the sewing on 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 this machine so that's how it is set up now and that's the machine that i have uh, organized now in order in order to uh to do our uh testings here and it's probably not so uh useful for you now that when i start the embroidering here but i but i will do it that's the one I, I have just set up. And I think it's, I'm just also starting to get into the, into the work with this machine. This is what I was doing the last uh, two weeks now, or the last two days. And uh, it's, uh, let's, let's have a look if it's working. Oh, it's the wrong thread. No, it did not work because I have the wrong needle, but that's the typical situation. It's, doesn't matter. So I need to change the, the thread. And um, it's, 
wait, I do it here. Set. Try it again. No, it changes again. So you see, I'm not, I'm not finished in, and I'm not good enough in uh, working on this on this big machine, but uh, that's uh, what I'm currently doing, and uh, that's all about the current state of uh, Turtle Stitch. So it's uh, developed under uh, not that easy conditions here in Vienna, but we do it since several years and we are continuing to do it. And uh, yeah, that's it from, from my side. I don't hear you. Yes, uh, oh, yeah. thank you so much, Andrea. Uh, Maureen has just left and okay. wanted to, to thank you. She liked very much your presentation and asked me to thank you. Uh, yeah. So, Martin is thanking you. So, now we can, uh, who, we can make more questions and who wants to discuss something, we are done okay okay hello hello anthony anthony from yeah can, can everybody hear me yes okay i just i have a question for you um andrea I, are you leaving, oh, Mohana? Would you like to, to? Are you leaving, Mohana? Oh no! No, I just want okay. to ask Andrea a question. Okay, so I just want to ask Andrea a question. Is that okay? Yes, sure. Go on. Okay. Okay. So I heard you while you were fantastic. Um, it's very interesting for me. But while you were speaking, uh, you said uh, there was a. Um, there were some students, some children from Africa that um, coded in Scratch, sorry, scored, uh, coded in Turtle Stitch, but uh, they had to uh, um, execute by hand. Yeah, so my question now is, do you have, is there, uh, do, do you have anything, is there a way I could see what they executed? What, what did they, what did they, um, what did they code? It's good to see the finished product i would have loved to see maybe your website or you could just describe what did they code and um, and why did they have to i think i can assume the the answer but let you ask it why did they have to execute in hand but so two questions what did they design and uh, the other is uh you know why did they have to execute in hand Yes, uh, unfortunately, they did not have an embroidery machine. And I uh, was uh, researching. Hello. Her internet. It's okay. her internet. Okay. I think she will come. Uh, Anthony, can I tell you something? Hello, hello. Yeah, please. Simon Matsabi, and uh, he, I think he's from, so he's from Tanzania, but the project was running in Ethiopia. And we, uh, Susan Ettenheim and, and we, we uh, and me, we had, uh, we did a real, real, little bit research also about if it's possible to get an embroidery machine to Ethiopia, but then I, it seemed that it's really hard uh, to, uh, to, to, for example, order it here and let it transport to Ethiopia. I don't know. So in the end, they had no embroidery machine. And this was the reason uh, why uh, they had to embroider it by hand. Uh, but I was so impressed. They had uh, really, uh, they made great uh, designs on Turtle Stitch. I saw it on the platform. So on the interface, they made logins and I saw what they did. And it was for me so amazing about uh, the ideas of their designs uh, and how they did it and, and finally they did it by hand 
and I was uh, so impressed and when I saw how proud uh, these girls were about what they did and they were wearing it all together and had a, a lot of uh, a great spirit when, when they presented it. And uh, so for me, it was a very, very special uh, um, moment also to see it. And this is also something that we were thinking about um, I had no time so far to think a little bit deeper into the ideas of how to code online and how to uh, uh, how to embroider it by hand. So what's the what's what's a good uh, um, kind of step by step uh, method uh, that uh, these these two things uh, could work out really good. But maybe we can also find out more when we contact uh, Simon and ask him about uh, his experience with this group when he was uh, actively working with them. Because of course these machines are expensive and not everybody can afford uh, to get uh, a machine and it would be great if we have a solution also for those who don't have uh, the possibility to use uh, a machine. Was it, was it the traditional way? You said you wore it and you saw it and you liked it. What yes, uh, they, they had a project probably also with traditional wear, but I don't think that it was a traditional design. But there are also some examples also of, of traditional designs too on our platform, I think. Thank From you, different Andrew. cultures. It's also always so interesting to see the designs of uh, Simon Mong, who is from China, because I also see that he has uh, some uh, kind of um, forms. He uses some forms that for me are more a kind of Asian style and I really like to, to see that it's possible to see uh, out of the designs uh, where people are working uh, on the design. So there is a lot of uh, uh, local uh, so cultural, uh, formal things are showing up in the embroidery designs. And I think this is a very interesting point too and something where one ca could uh, really uh, dive deeper, but maybe somebody has, uh, wants to do this, yeah. I wanted to bring forth a few things and more regarding that. Oh, sorry, please continue. No, I'm okay, thank you, Andrea. I, I certainly I like to hear the, your answers to other people's questions too. I'm still here. I just want to add something. Uh, if I can afford, I would really like to go to the Scratch conference in Kenya uh, next summer, which is uh, which which is uh, obviously uh, going to be there, and uh, maybe some we can we we could meet there also. I don't know, or at least. Uh, uh, continue this, conver uh, this this conversation about uh, this uh, about uh, embroidering without embroidery machines, so embroidering by hand and designing with uh, scratch, snap, or turtle stitch or whatever. That's uh, interesting. It's interesting point. Yeah, yeah. I, tentatively, I should be there. There's a there's an interesting link between scratch, snap, now turtle stitch, and things. That that I want to develop to develop our children here. So yes, uh, and as of now, I, yeah, and Nigeria has a very intensive uh, history in embroidery, right? I mean, oh, I, yeah, I really, certainly, certainly. this is very special. It's a mm. very heavy one. Yeah, yeah. we take it very seriously. So this is very interesting to me, and mm -hmm. I would like to be there. And, you know, I'll, yeah. I'll keep. I'll keep it. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, Maybe it works out. Would be great. Thank you. But I'm here because I want to see other people's yeah, questions yeah. and learn. Too. Yes, great, great. Yeah. Fine. Okay. So, oh, Andrea. Uh, yes. Mohan Hi. Again. Uh, so you were talking about the different kinds of stitches, right? Like satin mm -hmm. or a chain or hem or whatever. Mm -hmm. So it was recently that I was working on a project uh, from Elsia, like learning, creative learning, where I think you yeah. have that tweet where Mitch kind Yes, of I saw this. Yes, it's great. Yes, it's so beautiful. It's <laughs> so, wonderful. 
Yeah. So I was wondering like if I could bring it to the next step where I could do it in turtle stitch, but I don't have to. Yes, sure. And yes. maybe then I can also tell you like if for now there are only run stitches available in your machine, maybe you could just do the outlines to show the different leaves, but maybe not fill it up with satin or something. Mm -hmm. So it was just the idea was like all the different branches are, you know, uh, giving rise to different flowers and fruits while mm -hmm. uh, it's being watered by, um, you know, that common pot. So mm -hmm. I was just uh, trying to tell you about different stitches that I have used here. Uh, and also that would be a next step for, I think, your upgradation. But for now, if I could make the minimalistic outline in turtle stitch and, you know, present, that would be nice. No yeah, super. There are, there are uh, some uh, examples for coding trees uh, in turtle stitch. Uh, Simon Mong did uh, some very nice uh, quotes for uh, about this, okay. and uh, there is of course also from the uh, original Snap software some uh, great fractal trees around, which do every time you execute it, they develop their very specific kind of trees. It's very uh, interesting also to to see them. And it's I saw it on the on the on the Twitter feed. It was so so nice. Yeah. yeah and you. you also contacted me via the messenger, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, uh, was uh, it you? Yeah. I'm I'm sorry. Yeah, it, Eloisa it, it, knows I'm not always very uh, <laughs> active in responding because oh, there is that, that's not a problem. I remember we had I think lunch together on that a terrace of MIT camp. Like, yeah, very that. nice. Yeah, yeah. So I had I had uh, also bad feeling because I didn't uh, <laughs> no, respond. Fine, not, Sorry. Not a okay. Fine. Yeah, I'm it's like great, that. <laughs> great that you're here. Nice. Okay, I think that we are finishing our presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the main goal of these online meetings is to put people on real time together to discuss, to feel, and go on. So, from here, we can be in contact and make people closer and closer across the countries. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'd like to thank you very much, Andrea, for all the explanations, your work is yeah, it, interesting it's so sorry yeah but sorry it was a, a, a little bit a chaotic tendency in the presentation no, but it's uh, we're, we're in wonderful. the middle of uh, something so the the idea is to bring people together and okay everything is part of it uh, okay. it's not a formal presentation so we have YouTube or something like that. Yeah. We don't need yeah. to be together. At, that's, I think this is more interesting to make real questions with real in real time. So thank you very much. And thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Anthony, Mohonen, and everybody that joined us today. So see you around, okay? Thanks. See you. Bye bye. See you. Have a thank good time. you very Take much. Take care. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.